That's why I did call her the N-word. I'm sorry. I know I did. It is. It, I'm sorry. Okay. Listen to me. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Finding a job is tough enough, but for some, keeping it is a whole different challenge. What happens when reckless employees keep jeopardizing their jobs by acting out of line? Please stop! Please stop! They would love you fly. I've been flying for 40 I've been flying before you. Oh, don't touch me! Here are some cases of when dumb employees get arrested on the job. Starting with the case of a McDonald's employee, he showed up to work highly intoxicated and what seemed like a routine interaction with the officer quickly spiraled into chaos. Lock me up! For what? Because you don't care! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to go to jail so bad? I have billions of dollars. Tell him. Come on. Tell him that way. You ain't trying to help me no way, bro. You ain't trying to help him. You understand? You look stupid. You're not about to spit on me either. You know? No, I'm not. You understand? Stupid. On January the 6th, 2024, officers were called to McDonald's for an intoxicated employee who refused to leave. When they arrived and confronted him, they realized it was clear he was beyond reasoning. I'm way out here. Obviously, yeah, doesn't, need need shit. Shit. Obviously doesn't need to be I'm at work. I'm way outside. I'm way out Obviously here. Obviously doesn't need to be at work. No, we can't. Okay. You got somebody come pick me I'm up? I'm way or? out here. He ain't putting up a white light me up. Hey, you got somebody come pick me up, up, bro. Come on, lock me up, man. I'm just asking you a question, bro. You got somebody coming pick you up, or? Ain't nobody coming to me. Man, you don't care. You just want me to. Get the f at your face. You're not even in my face. With money. So, and I got all the money you need to lock me up. I'm not worried about that. Lock me up. For what? Because you don't care. You haven't committed a crime. What am I Oh, doing? so I got to touch you to commit a crime. No. Okay. What, are you Follows, doing? what is Follows. that? It's not a crime. Oh. So, Miss you got Oh, it's me falling out. You got a ride or? You hate black people. Why do you think that? Because you're trying to psychology give me power to control you. I'm so confused. Do you have a ride? Exactly. If I slap the shit at you, you gonna want me to be in jail. Well, here's the thing. I want you to get a ride to go home. Because they don't want you here at work. Okay. So do you have somebody coming to pick you up? Do we, can we call somebody? What can we do? But what I want to ask you is do we start this or do we leave? Because I have not touched this woman at nobody's, all. Nobody's saying you have. They just don't want you here because you can't work. What did I do? You're intoxicated. I'm not intoxicated. I showed up and talked. I showed up at 4.30 this morning. This, this morning. Okay. But the only reason why I was intoxicated is because I have nobody to watch this that I own. Okay. Do you want to get a ride somewhere? Like no, that? I want to work. Well, you can't work. They don't want you here. They're sending you home. Well, then send me home. The officer asked the man to leave the premises and offered to even drive him home. But he was too intoxicated to provide his address and began acting erratically. An action that marked the beginning of his fallout with the cops. Are right, you going to keep my car? Where do you, where do you live? The bicycle, we'll, we'll put it somewhere. Okay. She's going to keep my, my, my bicycle. She says she's going to keep it somewhere. Are you gonna take me home? I gotta know where you live first, bud. I don't stay no more than five minutes away. What's your address? Five minutes away. Well, that doesn't help me. I can't take you five minutes away. Five minutes could be a long ways away, or it could be a short distance. Uh, What's your five address? minutes. Let me Google. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna Google it. Right. I know my address, but I'm gonna Google it because right. I want to make sure that I'm in the legal limits. And it's in the business area. It's not that I don't want my job. You could have tolerated me. I, all the thing I would have did was I would have job. All the thing I would have did was what I was supposed to do. That's why I said go home and we'll try again tomorrow. No, do you seriously mean that? Do you no. want me to be tomorrow? If you're in a better shape, you can. Other than that. Okay, let's go, man. I can't take you nowhere until I know where you live. It's just right around the corner. Just take but me home, bro. I, I can't, listen, man. Without having an actual location to take you, I cannot take you anywhere. What street do you want? They say on 2140, so 21405, um, 21405, what? It's not pulling up. I don't know what's going on with this damn thing, man. You want to pick up what I got on file? Yeah. How do you want to have on file and I can't 
nothing you pulled up my damn tail. What's taking me on? You take you take me home. We're trying to. We just gotta figure out where you live. Are you taking me home? Nah, he's gonna be taking you home. Right, Watch come on, let's go. You want your glasses? I gotta get your first. We gotta figure out where you're from. She's looking it up right now. Take your glasses, man. You wanna go home with these, right? <laughs> I can't tell you. No? You can't tell I me where you live? Tell you, I can't. You, I got you. You wanna look where I can't tell you? I'm trying to tell you. It's I not can't. working? I can't tell yeah, you. Yeah, lean right against this wall. I'm gonna put your glasses in your pocket so you don't lose them, okay? <laughs> it's crazy, man. I can't tell you. <laughs> Who's gonna make this wall? I don't know. There you go. Lean right against the wall. We're gonna get your address. The man began talking incoherently and kept asking the officer to let him go home when the officer was actually trying to do just that. I can't even get a raise. We respect. For what? Why do you want to go to Jessica? I have billions of dollars. But I'm asking, why do you want to go to Jessica? But as a policeman, I can't even be arrested with respect. Why, why do you want to go to Jessica? I'm not saying I want to be arrested. That's what you just said. Ask I'm me. saying, as a police officer, you're not arresting me correctly. But why? Why would? Why do you want me to arrest you? You ain't gotta arrest me. You just. But you're asking me why. I'm saying why you ain't respecting me. I am. Respectively. How am I not respecting you? You not let me go. I'm trying to get you home. No, How is that? Yes, I am. About me. You just want to arrest me so that you can throw me in the trash. Why? Like you've done every black man. That has ever existed. What are you talking about, dude? I'm only you don't 32. Care about I'm, me, only, right? I'm only 32. I haven't lived for all existence. You've lived long enough to know that I don't give a <laughs> about black people. What are you talking about, man? I hate black people. Why? Let me go so I can get. I'm trying get to, but you're not. Life. You're in no condition to just walk. I don't care. I'm sorry that you don't, but I do. That's why I'm trying to give you a ride home. I'm going to take you home. I just got to get your address first. I told you my address. I no, live right around the corner. I, and I can't just take you right around the At corner. At 2414 Street. 2414 Now take me home. 2414 Street. Yeah. You live on And I'm not trying to say you don't care about black people. I'm just trying to say you need to take me home. Or Double zero. Drive. Do you live in I'm sorry. I'm not hey. trying to say no like that. Do you live in Do you live in we have my job. We, we have um, my job. I don't have a job no more. Listen, do you live at Flynn Drive? I stay at 2414 Street. Take me home because I don't have a job. All right. You know what I'm saying? So I need to figure out what I need to do. It was at this point that a simple situation started to go south as the drunk guy suddenly became very distressed. I need you guys to take me here. Come on, buddy. That's where we're going. Come on. What are you telling people, bro? Come on. We're going to get Tell you home. Tell them I didn't do nothing, bro. We're going to get you home. Come on. I'm dead. I know, bro. Where you going? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, bro. Tell them I ain't been here, bro. I ain't been here, bro. Tell them, bro. Tell them, bro. Tell them. Take the backpack off real quick. Is she going to sit up here? Okay, bro. Please tell me. We're going to get in the car and we're going to take you home. Tell me. I don't want to be in the car. I'll talk to him. We've got to get you in the car. Tell you now, bro. Come on. Come on. Walk over to this car. Come on. we got to get you back. Right? Please tell him, bro. Tell him. Don't fall. Let go of him right now. You understand? Let go of him. You understand? We're all on your stomach. 
Go on to your tummy. Put your hands behind your back. Simple battery. Yes, yeah, sir. The officers finally had had enough of his drunken antics and decided to detain him, but this only made him more agitated. Okay, one well, good. Sit up. Yep. Okay. Yep. Ready, stand up. Kick your knees in here. We're going to stand you up on three. Ready? All right, you're one, one, two, three. Sit up. 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 Sit I'm, 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 I'm a person. Black man with probably, probably down to one. I've never been. Okay, go ahead and lock me up, man. I've never been able to do anything but been locked up. I've been locked up for almost two years. Like I said, if man. You let me go, man. I promise you, I will try my best to make sure that you guys are okay. I'm a black man. I've been locked up every day. Every second, there's never been a white man or a black man that can ever free me from this, other than the fact that I've been obeying. I've never been arrested. Please don't arrest me, man. I'm trying to tell you, I'm, hobo, I'm on probation. Once y'all let me go, I'm going for five years. There ain't no white man or no black man that ever free me. White folks who want to eat you, black folks who want to beat you. If you let me go, I'll be a free man. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I don't care. I hate black people. Yeah, I hate white folks. All right, go ahead and have a seat, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Let's talk Put your leg in, put your butt down. Okay. All the way in, come on. First oh, up. they did. You gotta sit up. I know, but you gotta sit up and kick your legs in first. Please. Come on. Put your leg in the car. Okay, tell me what listen, I did. Listen, right now you're under arrest for simple battery and on an officer as well oh. as public intoxication. Kick your legs Please, in before this I officer promise. has to go around to the other side and grab your handcuffs and drag your ass I've in. I've everything you asked no, me No, you to have do not. Put your leg in the car. Okay, I'm done. Put your legs in the car. I'm done. I'm no, you're not. Put your legs in the car. He's about to drag you. Simple baby. Hey, look, he's Listen getting ready to, to drag you. I'm going to drag you into this car. Act grown. Put your damn legs no, in. I'm put you your feet in the car. Sit there like an adult and be quiet. Oh, what did I do? Man, I didn't even put my hands on you. Yeah, you did. How do I put my hands on you? You is a liar. Okay, so when okay, I was telling I, you to get I in the car, everybody that I, that I've ever are heard. you gonna let me speak? No, man, I never what, put my hands on you. What's your name? I don't put my hands on you, please, please. What's please, your please. name? No, I'm trying to tell you, man. Please be honest. What's your name? Identify yourself. You you're gonna catch a charge. I don't hate you, but you just can't yes, seem to follow orders. Yes, you do. Why did I put my hands on you? Why did you put cuffs on me? No. Did I put my hands on you? Man, did you put cuffs on me? When you even agreed to it, I hate you, man. Now. Now we need to press charges. You are, you're under arrest. I let you put, no! What's your no, name? No, I'm not gonna forgive you for this, man! Sit back I'm not gonna forgive seat. you for this! Sit back How in your seat. How you gonna tell me to sit back and there's no way for me to get out? If I have to come back there and seatbelt you forcefully, I will. Do it! Do it, you dirty dog! The guy kept on resisting and made life even tougher for himself. You know what, act up? I'm gonna spray you in the f***ing face with this, you understand? Hey, let me tell you something. No. You straight, are you the devil. Okay. The you know how I know? Because you're not giving me a chance to talk to you. What yeah. did I do? You're under arrest for simple battery on off. You ain't been touching me when I even did nothing. You, you know about? what I'm saying? What did I do? You over here putting the same handcuffs on. What did I do, sir? One, I smacked the what officer did I do? the first time. I've never smacked, I've never touched you. You know what I'm saying? There you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's good that you're locking me back. Are you gonna give me your name or are we just gonna go back and forth? Oh, you don't know my name? No. And you got me in cuffs? Yes. Are you gonna give me your name? Or do and I, I had your back. I voted for Donald Trump. I, I didn't vote. You don't care? I don't care either. That's why I hold this motherfucker. Are you gonna give me your name? How you gonna give me your name? You don't even, you don't even exist. What? You think you exist? Got it. How you think you exist, you white? Case up. Trip. What did I do? Tell me what did I do? You might as well let me free because it's the only freedom you got. I know between your eyes, the only thing that you got is Carl's pageant. You are a sloppy piece of trash. Is that what you wanted me to hear, Mr. Carl's pageant? Hey, you are the only thing you got? No, come to me at the door because I didn't do nothing. No, the only thing that I do was respect myself. Of course, you're a mother.
fucking alien Godzilla motherfucking eating beast. But right now, I'm the only guy that can fuck you. Perfect. Is that you. If I don't defend myself, make that an extra beast. felony charge since you just spit on beast. me. You are a beast. Go ahead and eat some Chinese food, you goddamn son of a Chinese. Only thing I did was open my door to talk to you about the fact that these motherfucking hungry ass beasts lock me up just for this. Just respect myself. I've been up five o'clock this morning. The only thing you want to hear about. Get up. Stand up, stand up. You gotta sit there. You gotta sit up in there. Stand up. What do I do? Get up in there. Which way? Man, I'm a dog. I ain't even do nothing, man. I'm just a dog on my dog. Come here we go. Dog on my dog. What do I do? Go my dog. There you go, sit down. Careful, watch your head. Man, I see when I do, Captain, my shoes are going on. Turn your legs. Watch your legs, bud. Yep. Sit up, man. We want you to call out. Come on. We're going to go in the hospital. Check that, okay? He's a, He's a limber guy. Yeah, careful stepping down, all right? The officers transported the man to a medical facility for an evaluation. There, he pleaded with them to let him go, but it was a bit too late for that. His attempts were not exactly very persuasive and instead put him in even more trouble. Why are you want to let me go, man? Please. Not my choice. Not your choice. You want your shoes? I asked you when I first pulled up here. And you dropped me up here. Can you let me go? Huh? Grab your stuff. Hey, sir. But let me go. You're not going nowhere now. Now you're under arrest. You're going to jail like you wanted. No, you had me locked up in the back of your police car. Yeah, because you're under arrest. For what? I ain't got no warrants. I've been, I've been obeying my, uh, my authority. Okay. What am I arrested for? I already told you multiple times. So we're not going to go. No, you again. did not tell me multiple times that I was arrested. When did you tell me I was arrested when you had me in the back of your police car? Before and you that. just brought me in the hospital. Before that. No, you didn't. Okay. You didn't take me to the, the deputy? Well, Are you a deputy? I don't need you to be a deputy, sir. Well, yes, the f you do gotta be a deputy. And you didn't have me arrested for two for two two for two sh What did you have me arrested for? Let me tell you, I work at this hospital. Yeah. I work here. Yes, I'm, I've been working here. Okay. Tell me when you when you ever stop me for anything. When what? you ever stop me, my house right across the street. What is it? Even if you have a felony warrant, I'm going to tell you right now. I've, I've defeated it. Okay. What you going to do to stop me, bro? Sit here with me? For now, yeah. For what? What you. have I done? I told you. I don't know why we keep going in circles. Uh, no, we not going in circles. Big old revolver. You door, are. Let me see you step up. Oh you're wait, 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 wait. Right in the chair. You understand? Oh, you are fall assaulting me. You're gonna sit in the chair and you're gonna stay there. You gonna back, 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 the back, bro? What Look, have man. I done? Look. What you have I done? Again, I'm gonna tase you. Do you understand? What have I done? You Do stupid you motherfucker. Do you understand? You're gonna get tased. No, back. Do you back. understand? Back. But let me go, bro. Right now we're gonna what hold. What have I done? done? But here in a sec, you're about to get tased. You look stupid. You understand? You look stupid. You're not about to spit on me either. You know? No, I'm not you understand? stupid. You understand? Let my, let my face go, bro. No. Are you done? Let my face go, bro. 32 to 36. Let my face go, bro. No. You understand? You're going to sit here just like oh, this. Oh, now you're choking me. Ah! 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 Do you guys have a spit hood? A what? Spit hood? Even a hairnet would probably work. Something. I can't breathe with that, man. I can't breathe with that. Right. We ain't gonna have you spitting on us. Stop it. I haven't been spitting on you. Please tell me I haven't been spitting on you. It's Please. just a mess, sweetheart. I'm not going to say nothing. I promise. You're not about to do none of that okay. shit. Do you understand? Listen, stop. Okay, okay. Stop. You're okay, making okay. this worse. Stop it. Okay, please, okay. Stop. Please tell me I haven't It's not over your nose. Look. Please, stop. Okay, okay. Stop. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Okay. Are you going to sit up and act grown? 
That's what a God, ma'am. You need to hire a lawyer, please, please, ma'am. Okay. Oh, 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 Sit down. Okay. Ah! Okay, oh, let me down. Have a seat. Sit down. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Hold on, wait. You have to sit. Ah, okay, okay, I'm gonna sit. Ah! Ah! The man was charged with battery, drunkenness, obstruction of an officer, and two counts of felony obstruction. Next up, we have an angry DoorDash driver who became so furious over a delayed donut order that he started hurling racist remarks at the manager only to quickly face the consequences later. It's just 12 donuts. I had three people walk in and get a different order and got helped. Yeah, that's why I did call her the N-word. I'm sorry. I know I did. It is, it, I'm sorry. Okay. I say it as ignorant. You're ignorant. That's what it means. Ignorant is Yeah, shit. not exactly the... She really called me cops. That's crazy, girl. We're not doing Whoa. her job. We're not doing her job. On the 4th of June, 2023, officers received a complaint about an incident at a local Dunkin' Donuts involving an enraged door dasher. When they arrived at the location, they went and talked straight to the manager, who told them what had transpired a little earlier. What was going on? He um, wanted service, and I was going to give him service, and he got all nasty and rude. I said, do you want service if you want to be nasty and rude? And then he started cussing me out. He called me a bunch of niggas. He called me a bunch of bitches. I asked him to leave. He, stuck call. he kept calling me bitches. That's why niggas get kicked. And yeah, so he called the police because he was calling chaos. And everyone of these workers heard it, and the people next door. That's why he's pulling off because he heard there. That's why he's pulling off. Okay, that's what you guys wanted him to do was leave, though, right? Come back. We wanted him to be The delivery driver, frustrated by a delay in his order, launched into an angry tirade, hurling racist remarks at the manager. When the officer confronted him instead of showing any remorse, he decided to try and explain how his actions were justified. It was this one that culminated in his having to spend some time behind bars. How you doing? Can I talk to you over here, please? Yeah, sure can. Hey, what was going on inside the I, store over here? I asked her, I was like, she said, can I help you? I said, I've been walked past five times by, by workers. I was okay. like, this order was supposed to be done. It's just 12 donuts. I had three people walk in and get a different order and got helped. I didn't get helped. And she's like, well, I'm not going to deal with rude customers, so bye. You're never getting your DoorDash. I said, then call DoorDash and tell them you're not going to do the order because this is my job. And she wanted to proceed to say, oh, something about my mom, something about my dad. So I did call her the N-word. I'm sorry. I know I did. It is. It, I'm sorry. Okay. But that's what she's acting like. I say it as ignorant. You're ignorant. That's what it means. Ignorant is uh, not exactly the. You could be arrested for that. Really? Ethnic intimidation. I didn't know that. It's a felony. Really? I did not know that. I say it as. But it's just like, I. I there was two dudes that walked in and got helped at the counter, had their orders rang up, and then got it before I even had my donuts. Like this, was, I'm telling you, ten minutes ago. I've been sitting here fifteen minutes. Like. Oh my God. Right. Well, the only thing they want you to do, though, I'll leave. is they want you to leave and you're not permitted to come back or they'll okay. sign a criminal trespass card. That's fine. Uh, I got to, okay. I got how do I, I can't get a hold of the witness. That's the thing. What was your name? She really called me cops. That's crazy, girl. We're not doing Whoa. her job. We're not doing her job. Hello? That, that's, that's when you... I got the cops called on me because this lady at Dunkin' Donuts didn't do her orders, so hold on. That's, that's when you go to the manager request to talk to the She man. is the manager. She is the manager. That's what she said. I said, where's the manager? She's like, okay. I am the manager, and I'll leave, or I'll call the cops. I said, I'll call the cops myself. 
So she really called the cops because she didn't want to do her job and get my donuts. 15 minutes ago, it was supposed to be done. So I can't go to Dunkin' Donuts anymore, and I could have got a felony for calling her the N-word because she's talking about my family. So I could have caught a felony for that. I didn't know that. So I, I still could. <laughs> it's, it's ethnic. What is it? Ethnic, ethnic what? Ethnic intimidation. Ethnic Ethnic There's two ways to go with it, it's disorderly or ethnic intimidation. When it's reference to a confrontation like that, it could be bumped so up to a charge. charge. You're okay. not getting charged. Okay. The racist man, confident he would be let off with just a warning, had no idea how much trouble was about to come his way. The issue is you also had the, the employees on the other side also uh, complaining about, I guess, your behavior now so, you gotta remember i wasn't here so she's allowed to cuss at me and say stuff to me but like she's not gonna i'm just saying i'm I not know, saying who's right or wrong i know i'm sorry it's just irritating like i'm doing my job player can you give me the type of suspension i have a suspension <sighs> does your buddy have a license because i can't yeah, let you drive that's fine i'm already D does he have one or yeah Can I sit in the car? Keys are on the dash. Like, I'm, I'm freezing. How you doing, man? I'm good. So your buddy here is suspended. Do you have a driver's license? No, uh, no. You don't have a driver's license? No, no. I'm calling. I'm tired. You got somebody that might be able to come down here to drive for you? I'm, I'm calling right now. I texted. I told her to call my mom so she can get picked up and come. Door, What's that? Can I shut my door? I'm anemic. Yeah, go ahead. Keys are right there in the dash. We're not going. I gotta have you step out because you can't be behind the wheel. Oh, oh. Can I sit in the back seat then? I'm free. Like my legs are. Yeah. Broken. Hold on. We might have a problem here. What I guess we have a problem, babe. Did I got a warrant or something? No, I have to check on something. Mm, sweet. I don't know, he says we have a problem, so. Did you call my mom, though? I don't, I don't, I, apparently, I, I don't know. He said there's a problem, so I, I had to step out with my legs turning purple because I'm freezing. So, yeah. All right, I love you, bye. Can I at least know what's going on? Yeah, hold on, I'm just checking on something real quick. You're freaking me out. Like you said, I didn't have a warrant, but now you're. Saying Are you in handcuffs right now? No. Okay, no, just give I'm me a sorry, second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm okay, but you're the one driving under suspension. Okay. No, I know. Can I sit in the back seat? Just at least? hold on a second, okay. please. All right. All right. All right. Here's the problem. Okay. You live in the Huron County, correct? Yes, sir. You're outside of Erie County. Yes, sir. You have to post bond for your driving under suspension. Okay, how much is it do now? Okay, you have to post 300 of 3,000. Okay? I can do that. Yeah. So, can you put your hands out for me. Give him my phone. Yeah, we can work on that. Okay. Do you have anything on you? Any knives, this. weapons, firearms, just, anything like that? Phone. Anything inside the car? Just my phone. You can check. Man. I hate arresting people. No, it's, it's your job, man. It's for, job. you know, something like this. It's your job, you gotta go. And are you able to get, were you able to get a hold of somebody to come down That's, here? To, no, she had to call my okay. mom back, but. I just had to check on to make sure that we are having people post under the. So can I, can I tell him real quick to go, like, have her take the car that's in my wallet and go get cash? His wife is on yeah. the way to come get you the car. Give, can you, yeah, I know. Can I give it to him? Yeah, that's fine. Ironically, the guy had called the manager ignorant while he himself was driving with a suspended license. And for that, he was going to get handcuffed and taken to jail. And to make matters worse, he was being served a hefty fine, a huge price to pay for being ignorant. At this moment, the consequences of his actions were beginning to stare him right in the face, but it was a bit too late to turn the whole situation around. So I got to take you over to the county to post the bond. Okay. So is she, she's coming down here, right? Um, are you, did my mom, is she coming to get you? She said she has to get clothes on. She's, yeah, yeah. I'm all right. Like, yeah. Well, I'm at, she's, or I'm at the, the Hayes Ave BP right there on the corner by Dunkin' Donuts. So just have her pick you up and I guess come down there and 
Does she have to go down to the jail to bail me out, or can she do it over yeah, the phone? Yeah, she'll have to go over to the Erie Cash. County Jail. Yes. Um, okay. They want a money check or money order. Money check or money order? So yeah. Where do you get those at? I have no idea. Where do you get them at? Uh, like you, Western Union you know or Kroger's? You got to get a money order? Kroger's is right there. Kroger's, just go to Kroger's and then go to the Erie County Jail, which is where we deliver all the time. So. You hear me? All right. Yeah, he's got my wallet. And you gotta, so you gotta get a money order. So it's gonna be like three hundred and like three eleven, I think, because the money order costs a couple bucks. So we are staying at a hotel on two fifty in Milan, the boutique. That's the thing. Like I know the car can't sit here, obviously. Yeah. How long is it gonna be? However long it takes to get from Venice, Venice Heights Boulevard all the way to, to Milan. I don't know how long that takes. Probably twenty minutes. Right, see, we we can't, we we can't. I, I got If it's gonna take that long, I gotta tow the car. I can't afford that, buddy. I'm, I'm spending $600 Unless she could come straight over from Venice Heights. And move it real quick. Can she move it to a parking spot? I can call her and have her move it to a parking spot. Like, please, I'm... I'm... <laughs> it can't be in this lot. <laughs> it can't be in this lot at all? Oh, it's a business. Every place on it. Like, I don't even want to sit in this spot that long. So basically, if you don't come get the car right now, they're towing it and it's going to cost $400 to get it out. Can I call your mom to have her move it? She can move it, but she has to move it to a non-business. So she has to take it... To, to her house and then walk back here and get her car. I mean, there's no, it's a business. Even though I've, I've had a car sitting in a business, then unless they call the cops, it's allowed to sit here for a little bit, unless they call the, you the guys. The problem is say, we hey. don't have the right to give you permission to keep the car here. No, I know So that. they're not gonna do it. So that's where you're running can, into can, the problem. Can she at least take it to like Taco Bell or something? Like I know they obviously can say something too, but I mean, if she could come directly over here, she could park over there across the street, walk over and grab the car, yeah. and do okay. whatever she okay. wants with it after that. All right, I don't tell, care. All right, I'm, I'm gonna call my mom. Just give me like two seconds to call mom. I'll give you five. I gotta get her name real quick anyway. Wait. The manager? Yeah. Okay. However, the situation was far from resolved as another employee informed the officers about the antics of the racist guy, which could potentially lead to another charge. How bad was he? It was murder, so we're the N-word. Okay. So it was all on call for him. Well, it turns out he's under suspension. He's got a post bond, so you got to go to the county jail for him. So at least he gets something out of it. That's what he gets. Yeah. I had a problem with him. He threatened to kill everybody else. Shoot up. Just now? No. Oh. Wow. No. Oh, this is a different circumstance? I told him he ran a robbery. He got on trespass. He said, come to is it documented? It should be. She called the cops on it. So anybody threatens me with bodily harm, I call You want him to charge with trespassing then? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't he's going to the I jail mean, anyway, so. so. Thank you. The door dasher was taken to a local jail and was charged with driving with a suspended license. Coming up in a bizarre case, we have a McDonald's employee who thought he could cry his way out of an arrest after setting his workplace on fire because he felt overwhelmed by customers. Mr. McGregor, you work at... Are you Mr. McGregor? You were at McDonald's, didn't you? Stop. Listen to me. Hey, Please stop. Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor. Please stop. No, 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 no,
Yeah, they're going to come out right here in just a second. So you'll see them light it. Give them about 30 seconds. He works here, so you know we got okay. all this information. So do you, yeah, um, if you could get like his address, date of birth, and if you have a phone number for him also. Yeah, I have a phone number. Um, we don't have his current address. I don't have his current address. You got that on a USB drive? Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good, uh, and your officer? Ramey. Uh, thank you for getting up there so quickly. Mm, of course. Don't know how to handle this. That's arson. Officers took statements from the other employees and checked the dumpster that had caught fire. For weeks, the arsonist eluded capture until he was discovered working at a nearby fast food joint. Determined to solve the case, the officers stake out the restaurant, tracking his every move. Their persistence eventually paid off during a routine traffic stop where the fugitive's hidden life was finally uncovered. How's it going, sir? Good, how are you? Good, I'm Austin Mills, PD. So the reason I pulled you over is I just was driving oh, through my wow. government landings, um, or Magnolia, or whatever it is. Uh, your, your plate cover is really obstructing uh, the county, uh, the decal, so that's why I'm pulling you. Uh, do you have your license on you? Yeah. Okay, I appreciate you. And there's just Officer Gordon over here. He's just standing by just for protocol. Are you working at, are you McGregor? You were in McDonald's, didn't you? Okay. Alright. Possibly identify him? Yeah, if I just ask him, Mr. McGregor. Do you want to get him to step out? Um, you can wait a second or you can get him, whatever you want to do, brother. He, he'll get out. So. Do you mind turning the car for me? Do you mind stepping out for me real quick and I gotta speak to you about something. Uh, I'll speak to you once you guys have the car, okay? I really appreciate it, guys. Do you got your ID on you? Yeah. No, it's in my wallet at home. Okay. Well, you have a warrant for your arrest, okay? So just step back here for me. So, it's going to be a reference to something that happened over at the golf. Can I put chains on your back? Just Babe! I'm, I'm not going to play with you. Please everything. stop. Listen to me. Hey, Please stop. Please stop. You're going to get more charges. Please. These warrants are not going anywhere. Next okay? Okay? I didn't do on. anything. It doesn't matter. I'll explain I don't know why I'm going to jail. Go. No, baby. Give me a okay, walk and please. All right. Please. Mr. It's okay. It's okay. Please put your hands on no. your side, or you're gonna get you're gonna get more charges. We don't want to have to do that. Put your hands on your back or no? Because we're gonna make you. Okay. I'm not going with you. Okay. Mr. Okay. Mr. Okay. Mr. Okay. Mr. Okay. Mr. Place your hands behind your back. I'm gonna stop it. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Listen. Where's the warrant? We're gonna get you a physical copy. I didn't do anything. Don't Go ahead and put your pin. I didn't do nothing. I know you did. I know you did. Uh, listen. I was good. I just got my new job. They're going to fire me. Okay. We're going to explain everything that's going on. Please do. Mr. I, I have a warrant. I have a probation officer. Yeah, a probation officer. Please see what he called me. We're going to walk over this part over here. Please don't put me in there. Oh, we're going to explain everything okay. to you. <laughs> I know, because I don't understand why I'm going to have a warrant. Nah, stay here for me. <laughs> you have anything on you that's going to poke me and stick me and stab me, okay? All right. Look, I want to get my fingers under the bed. Okay, Mr. Gerger, listen, we're going to explain everything. So you have a you have an arson warrant from McDonald's, Look, okay? Arson. Please spread your legs for me. That's we did the warrant. What? It's under his name. What? We need to do something. So that's what we're gonna work through right now. That's why, again, it's not worth fighting for because we don't make the decision on the warrant. Go ahead and step in there for me, okay? Please don't step the right away. I swear to God. I swear to God. I'm gonna. Sit in the car. Calm down, it's okay. Let him talk. Go ahead. No, you guys shut the door. Put your foot in there. Just let him talk. I'm gonna roll it out for you.
But the suspect didn't stop there, and instead tried to maintain good behavior to avoid further complications considering his crimes. His next course of action was one that could potentially add even more charges to his already dubious record. So he has a warrant for arson, okay? I, we don't make that decision, okay? No, 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 stop it. I don't want to be here. You're going to catch more charges. charges. Stop it. How? Stop. Sit. Listen to me. Stop. It's okay. Is this your... Let me talk to them. Who is this gentleman to you? It's my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? Yes. Okay, he has warrants from McDonald's. More than so, one? No, it's just the one arson warrant. And that's where we're here today to serve. From McDonald's? Yeah, so he... I don't know the details of it, I just know that he has a warrant for his arrest. Okay? Wait, so are you listening? We're gonna confirm the warrant, yes. Just go ahead and confirm this Sunday, warrant for me if you don't mind. I'll, I'm, gonna... I'm gonna do whatever I can. I'm gonna do whatever I can, okay? I gotta start Stop. Stop. Okay. I know you don't. I know you don't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can we roll the window van or? I will let you because you've been decent, but if you start getting. You've no. been super cordial. No, I'm not going to do anything. Right, I appreciate it. I'm saying allegedly because I wasn't there to you. What's that? He has a warrant, so I recognize you. I've dealt with you at McDonald's. I know you to be. Yeah. Okay. And you worked at McDonald's? Yeah. Okay, so. They said that they were trying to set me up because I was leaving there. They were after me. We were going to get lawyers because they were disturbing Alright, so Mr. McGregor, here's the thing is, but on our end, that's a judge's order. When they take a warrant out against you. How do I get out of jail? You're going to have to see a judge. I'm stuck in there all night. When? When can you see? I'm, not, I'm not sure when. It's gonna be like a month. No, it's not gonna be a month. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay with me. Now, there's an active really warrant for his arrest. That's not something we can do about He's that. He's got mental problems. Well, the very person told us that we want to release everyone from jail, but, but we're gonna let the jail know about it so they can uh, keep him in a environment where they uh, think they put him by himself and restrain him. Oh my God. But uh, nothing we can do about the warrant. But when, do, when does he get to see a judge then? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Well, excuse me. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. You hear that? And there's, there, there's nothing I can do in the meantime to do anything. It's not even our warrant. It's another agency's warrant. Another agency? Savannah Fire Department. In the meantime, is there a way we can get the tag cover off the car? Yeah, I don't have a screwdriver. You don't have a screwdriver with you? No. Just make sure that you get the... I'll give you a verbal warrant for you. you got to make sure you get it done. Okay, thank you. But like I said, identified him. I know him from previous encounters. He identified... I, I know he has a warrant for his arrest. He identified himself, so that's why he's detained. The suspect was sentenced to five years behind bars for arson. Up next, a Home Depot employee was caught stealing in an elaborate plan with his 19-year-old son, where they stole goods worth $10,000. from the store. Listen to me. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Where am I going to go? Put your hands in the back. On June the 21st, 2023, on a sunny day in Florida, officers responded to a Home Depot theft where an employee had stolen over $10,000 worth of products in just a week. Upon arrival, they spoke with the store employee to gather more details. I have to tell you guys of the application with uh, an internal, uh -huh. an associate that he's, I think he's admitted to stealing like over $6,000 worth of merchandise over a long period of time. He's here now? Yeah, he's in the office now with my manager. The officer then talked to one of the store managers to know more about the theft that had occurred. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Um, I can show you here real quick. Sure. Uh, so they, so they what happened. I had a llama associate, um, actually the public supervisor, um, on May 17th when we first found out. He was actually watching an external person going out with merchandise um, and saw that uh, the department supervisor was there when he walked out. Um, so I was like, leave him alone. Um, that's weird because he's standing there. How come he didn't check receipt and confirm that that merchandise was paid for? Yeah. Uh, back video that confirmed that not only did he let them let him go out and pay merchandise, but he helped him select merchandise. Oh. Um, watched him place power tools in between the lumber and hide it. We have it on video, hide it in between. Let the roll up door up and let the guy walk out. Which is so, not a regular exit. That's right. an exit just yeah. to yeah. load up. Like deliveries with the same customer. 
And the customer just goes to them, the customer just comes, get a bunch of lumber, puts it on the lumber cart, even branded stuff. Place it on the lumber cart, stands there and have a conversation with it. it rolls up the door, never checks a receipt or anything like that, and lets the guy roll out. Puts it, puts it in the truck. Um, so after the investigation was completed from Atlanta, they sent me a packet back in color, um, okay. and I paid my checks. Um, so I just finished, um, he's in the office now, I just finished having a conversation with him, he was giving me Go back and forth. No, I don't remember. I don't know what happened. Maybe I was confused. But you're not confused. You know the problem. You know the process. You know, he even told me, I didn't know I had to check a receipt. I had a lot of stuff going on at home. We all got stuff on. But we have to follow the process. You can't just let him pay much of that stuff. So he finally admitted, um, I have a statement here. Um, that, yeah, that's a statement. Um, he still talks about not letting you know, not check a receipt. It's his mistake. Um, I'm not paying merchandise for the same customer. Um, one time, yeah. Multiple times, no. It doesn't, it doesn't happen. He checks receipts for other customers when they go out, but this particular customer here, he was allowing them to go out. So I'm trying to get him to admit, hey, you know, did the guy say, you know, mm -hmm. you hook him up? You know, say, well, that he wouldn't admit to, but he admit to allow him to uh, allow the guy to the stolen items included wood, batteries, construction materials, and a case of candy bars. It appears that the employee, along with his son, evaded security by bypassing receipt checks. The scheme was uncovered by loss prevention when the manager caught the employee allowing his son to carry multiple packages out through the back entrance without checking out. With sufficient details and evidence, the officers took action against the employee, who looked more than disappointed that his elaborate plan to steal from his employers had failed. What's your name? Huh? Sam, right? Hey. Yeah, Alright. Right. Listen, uh, the company wants to press charges. Sure, I'll do a lot of Okay. So, this is what I need to do. You have any knife or anything on you right now? Don't reach for anything. I'm asking. Do you have anything on you? Yes. Okay. Stand up with your hands on the on the on the wall. Very little English. Oh. Pon las manos en la pared. Arriba. No te vayas a mover, okay? Okay. We're gonna take this off. Se quita. Uh, you guys want the teacher? Huh? A picture? No, the teacher. The no, teacher no, is yours? No, no, no. no, This is this is yours? Whatever is yours, you want it? No, no, uh, no. IDs? No, no, no. Nothing? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oye, brother, give me your hand. Dame, dame tu mano. Vírate, vírate espalda. Escúchame lo que te estoy diciendo. Vírate, dame las manos. Te estoy diciendo que te vires y me des la mano. Vos. Hey. Listen to me. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Pon las manos atrás. Pon las manos atrás, te voy a meter un teizazo. Pon las manos atrás. Pon las manos atrás. Oye, pon las manos atrás, te voy a meter con el teizo. Put your hands in the back. Okay, my man. Vamos para fuera. Aquí están. Mi teléfono. ¿Dónde está tu teléfono? En el iPhone que usted me quitó. ¿En qué? En el iPhone. ¿Aquí? Yo quisiera entender primeramente por qué está pasando eso. Okay. Te están usando de robo y vas a ir preso por eso. No, que yo no he robado nada. Okay. Bueno, eso lo tienes que probar en la corte, ¿ok? Podría llamarlo Tito antes de que me lleve, por favor, porque eso no fue lo que. Ok, escúchame lo que te estoy diciendo. Ellos hicieron una investigación, ok, y ellos quieren presentar cargo. Tu inocencia la vas a tener que probar en la corte, no aquí. Ok, este no es el momento ahora. Ellos, ellos están presentando cargo y yo te estoy arrestando. 
en estos momentos te estoy diciendo que salgas por la vuelta conmigo, ¿ok? No me vas a tener que sacarte. The suspect was caught by surprise and tried to plead his innocence despite the overwhelming evidence against him. Okay. Tú revisaste los papeles. Yo siempre reviso. ¿Revisaste los papeles? ¿Sí o no? Siempre reviso. Sí. ¿Revisaste los papeles? Sí, señor. ¿Y por qué no va a va, no pagar? Es el detalle de que ellos justamente a mí me están diciendo de que bueno, yo. Ok, escúchame. Ya ellos quieren presentar los cargos, ¿ok? Tú estás despedido de Jondipo. Tú vas a ser traspasado aquí, aquí no puedes venir más. Ahora. Eso lo vas a tener que probar en la corte, ¿ok? Eso lo vas a tener que probar en la corte, ¿ok? Así que ahora ya tú estás arrestado. Estás preso. Ya no hay nada que puedas hacer para quitar eso. Te estoy diciendo que vamos a salir para allá afuera, ¿ok? Vamos para mi carro, te sientas ahí y después te explico cómo es el proceso. Vamos. Eh, eh, Aquí tengo tu teléfono y tu cartera. Vamos. Ven. Vamos. Vamos, ven. Oye. Vamos, bro, no me vas a hablar. Vamos, papo, camina, no me vas no a empujarte, Ale. Es una injusticia, loco. Es una injusticia, hermano. Yo no he hecho nada y mira cómo me está sacando. De verdad, discúlpeme, pero esto no, 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 no es correcto. Mucha gente me conoce aquí y sabe lo que estoy haciendo. Y no es justo lo que me han hecho en la oficina. Me sentaron para hablar conmigo, mire cómo me están sacando. Ok, eso lo tienes que, lo tienes que hablar con tu abogado. Y defenderlo en la costa. ¿Por qué no me han dejado primero andar con mi abogado entonces? Yo como un ciudadano no, no puedo, no merezco ser tratado así. Okay. Un delincuente. Y sacado así de esta manera. No entiendo. Quieren de bro. He was taken into custody and released after a few hours, receiving 12 months probation. Two others, including his 19-year-old son, were also arrested. Up next, an extremely rude and cocky airport employee found out what happens when he messes with authority. What did I do? You asked me what did I do at the gate. This is my flight not to know your crazy ass, because you're an idiot. Sir, we're going to trespass you and arrest you. That's what, you what we're going to get to that point. Arrest me? Yes, what do you, for trespassing. Arrest me for what? Trespassing. And my airport flight person. Are you? Well, that's not going to change the fact that you're going to get trespassed and arrested. On the 2nd of February, 2023, while waiting in a long TSA line at the local airport, an airport employee was randomly selected for a pat-down. Claiming he didn't have time, he tried to push past TSA staff. When another employee intervened, he became aggressive, shoving and punching her until officers arrived. The cop interrogated the victim to have a better understanding of the situation. And then he, he when he started getting aggressive, I, I don't know, I panicked because he just kept pushing and pushing and okay. so, I tried to get him to stop. So, him, so, so you and the person you were with? So the, I just, well, no, no, I you're just not. Witnessed it, no, you're not. You're not. You're not going to lose your job. I got on a different train. No, you're not. You're, you're not going to lose your job. So, she didn't but, do anything wrong. Okay. I'm, I saw it. I got on the other train because I didn't want to get on. Right. Okay. So. Okay. So, I know you're saying he pushed past you. I mean, it's, I just need to, what do, what do you want to do about this? I mean, because if he's just going around you um, to get on his flight, I mean, I don't know if the state attorney's office is going to press charges against him or anything like that. But, I mean, if he's intentionally trying to hurt you, then he's committing a crime. I wasn't there, I didn't witness it, so I can't tell. He was calling I mean, me names. I mean, I can, wa I can watch the camera and figure that all out. So. I don't. I don't want him to go to jail, but at the same time, like, I don't think he should be he's fit to fly. After taking the victim's statement, the officer confronted the employee. He refused to admit any wrongdoing. Instead, he became defensive and argumentative with the officer. Is there any of my stuff here? Is there a still coming through? Is Sir, can you tell me what happened? God. Sir, no, no, it's not all my God. It's not all my God. You grabbed me, sir. Why did you grab me? Tell me what happened. Nothing, okay, nothing. don't blow me off, okay? Sir, nothing Tell happened. me what happened nothing. with that lady and you. Nothing happened. 
nothing I've, really I've happened. I've got three people telling me a different story. Nothing wrong. Really I happened. want your side of the story. Sir, I'm okay? trying to catch my plane. That's what okay. I'm trying to do. My and that's kind of the problem, okay? You're in a rush. I'm trying to You're catch my plane. You're worried only about yourself. I'm not bothering anybody. You, not right now. Please, please, but I you are. my stuff. I'm not bothering anybody. Okay. I'm not a bad guy. I promise you, okay. I'm not a bad guy. I didn't say you were a bad guy, did I? But you grabbed me and you because you're me. blowing me off, and I'm trying I didn't to talk. I blow you off. Yes, I you was did. talking to I'm, you. No, you were Sir, not. can we finish this and let me get on my plane, please? You might my not friend. be getting on your plane, okay? I'm probably I'm not. I'm telling you that right now, you. okay? Yeah. So let's have this conversation and okay, we'll see what if you're going to get mean? on your plane. Yes, sir. What happened with you and that lady right nothing. there? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Three other people told me totally different. Nothing. Okay. When you couldn't get through that gate, what happened? How'd you get through that gate? You're asking me the same questions. No, I'm not. This, That's I had a no whole different question. I have no different answer, sir. How'd you get May through I the gate? May I ask your name, sir? How'd you I'm get through the gate? They let me go. I didn't do anything. Nobody let you go. No, the gate back you, there. You mean I you got rushed the, the gate? I ran through the gate. I didn't do anything, sir. Please let me get on my flight, man. I'm not. Please answer. With please you. answer my I'm questions. I'm answering everything you're answering. No, you're asking. not. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm listening. I'm listening, sir. What else? What else can I do? The man continued arguing with the officer and refused to cooperate, leaving the officer to suspect he might be intoxicated as more officers arrived on the scene. At that moment, the situation was gradually beginning to get tense, but he was failing to see it. Okay, if you're listening, what did I ask you? What did I do? You asked me what did I do at the gate with the lady. Sir, I'm sorry. I asked you how to get through the gate. How'd you get through the gate? I don't know. I don't you know. were there, I wasn't. Three people told me how you got through that gate. How did I get through the gate? You tell me. That's what I, I want to hear. I just told you I don't know. Sir, I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm just trying to catch my flight. I want you to be truthful. I'm very You truthful. freaked that lady out. That lady's crying. That lady's shaking because of what you did to her. I did that. I didn't mean that. If I did that, I didn't really didn't okay. mean that. Okay. Then maybe. Right, sir, man, got, I'm get the he's got some questions for you. Just real quick. I got to take a look inside uh, your property. Everything. Real fast. Look at everything. Everything's cool. No take it out. I don't even care. I'll leave it here. You can have it. I, I, I do have to ask you. Uh, so one wait, one thing. Can you guys give me my iPad? My my pad. Uh, you, sir. sir, you're not in charge. Listen to what he has to say. Just like you didn't want to hear me, you did hear him. Did he's I ask gonna... your name? Yes, you did. For and sure. I'm going to give you my card. Actually, I'm going to give sure. you my card oh, before I we part ways. Your card. Okay? So listen, if you don't work with this guy, he can deny you getting on your plane. I work with everybody. Okay? I work you're not with you. Working. No, you're not. No, you haven't been. I didn't so, work with you. Listen, this guy's up. Talk to him. Answer his questions. Cool. I just need to ask, okay, do you have any medical needles? Or no, sir. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Just please keep it on me as I go through. This is me. One, two, this is three, me. four, five, six. This is That's me. Here you Thank go. you. You're My very man. welcome. My man. You're very I welcome. I definitely talk to you and your supervisor. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like him. He's intoxicated. Yeah. Okay. He's intoxicated. Can you show me your ticket, please? How can I show you a ticket when you don't let me show you a ticket? I can't have anything in my pockets. How can I show you a ticket? Sir, you said it's in your bag. Show me your ticket. The situation kept spiraling out of control as the suspect began abusing the officer. At this point, he was beginning to cross all reasonable bounds. and It was now only a matter of time before they taught him a lesson. I need my hey. iPad. This is why, yeah, this is why we're having this conversation. Because you can't control yourself. Sir, I asked you a question. You no, asked you didn't. Question, you yelled at me. Question. You yelled, just like you yelled at that lady, just like you pushed past that lady, no, no, just man. like you freaked all the you other passengers playing, out. Man. You missed up playing. No. You need to grow up. You need to grow up. Okay, that seems you know, to be your problem. I know that. I know that. Okay. I'm just saying, I know I'm going to miss my flight. 10378. You need to grow up. Uh, because you're a. You're a. Fucking ass. You know, all I did is I was nice to you. I ain't no, you nice weren't. to you. I ain't no, you weren't. to you. I didn't say you did anything to me. I've been asking you questions and you've been blowing me off. And I'm that's where asking. that's where things went south. Yeah. Nobody's bowing up on you. Nah, nigga, I'm, I'm like just you I'm just asking know, you for I your know people ticket. like you, sir. Okay. Yeah. But you don't know me. I don't care to know okay. you. Okay. I don't want to okay. know you. I would so, never. I'm want waiting. To know I'm you. waiting on your ticket before I'll you go anywhere. I'll be happy to miss my flight not to know your crazy ass because you're an idiot. You know what I mean? Thank and you. And I want to tell that in front of all your people. Okay. Because they know the same thing. They know you're an ass. Because since you're so short. Hey, you want me to come and trespass him? But he's about two seconds from being drunk and disorderly. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Are you able to bring up Are you sure? I don't have the right.
Yeah. All right, so back your stuff up. Southwest doesn't want you on the plane. So we gotta take you off the air side. Get your stuff in there. Get your stuff in the bag. No problem. We gotta go. Thank you, big man. Let's go. Say yes, yes, the boss. Yes, the boss. I'm on Nobody's giving you a hard time, sir. Well, you're being obnoxious. Oh. I just got here. You're being I, Pack your stuff up. I'm not arguing. Just, just pack, pack your stuff. stuff. I want to say something. I'm not arguing. Thank you. Okay. Pack your stuff up. Thank you. Please pack your stuff up. You're not getting any. And I appreciate it. The officer, having had enough, issued a final warning to the suspect, telling him to leave the premises or face a trespassing charge. But for some reason, it seemed like he wanted to get into trouble. Sir, we're going to trespass you and arrest you. That's what, you what we're going to get to that arrest point. Arrest me? Yes, what you for trespassing. Arrest me for what? Trespassing. Because you can't be here. Trespassing? We're going to trespass yes. you and then arrest you. I am you. an airport flight person. Are you? Well, that's just not going to change the fact that you're going to get trespassed and arrested. So I, I suggest that you pack your stuff up so we can go, because that's not what I'm looking to do. Cool. But that's what Thank we're going to end up doing. Thank okay, you, so man. pack up your stuff. Appreciate it. All right, I'm not buying you, so pack up your stuff. You give me a little bit better than anybody else getting me. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Let's Some go. fell here. I almost fell. So where are you going to take me now? Where Back to the main terminal. Where? The main terminal. And we'll get you after that. You were going to have to depart airport property, and that's it. You can rebook at a later time. So if I need to make a flight tomorrow? You can come back tomorrow, as long but, as you have legit oh, business. You will allow me to do that? I will. Thank you, master. I try my Thank best, Thank you, sir. master. I appreciate that. My master allows me to do that. Thank you so much. Just know, if you come back without a ticket, 100% you I got a ticket now. Okay. You had a ticket. Come on. We're not doing this. No, we're not. Cool. No, we're not. Don't forget that. Yeah, don't forget that. Yeah. Well, I'll forget that. Thank you. Sorry, man. I'm just right there. I'm a real guy. I'm just a straight guy. I don't fuck with you. We're going to go right, right through these. Oh, yeah. I just I want to go past him. I see him. Yeah. No, you're good. Oh, okay. Did Mike? Did Mike got, grab his? Did Mike grab his ID? I'm just Do you have it? Oh, Check. Do what you guys told me to all you do. And that's my ID. Right. But I'm looking for my everything else. Should be in your bag, sir. Come, we're going to get this train when it comes. The man was not willing to cooperate at all with the officers and soon faced the consequences of his cocky behavior. Oh, there's your backup. No, this is the airport manager. He's gonna he's gonna speak with you real quick. No, he ain't. You listening, Vincent? Shit, you better listen. Give me 30 seconds. I'm talking to you. Oh. There you go. Alright, Vincent, listening? 30 seconds. What's going to happen? Mr. Sir, hold on one second. I'm trying to take care of my pad. I'm not listening to you. I'm trying to take care of my thing. And I promise you, I'm not listening to you. Okay. You're going to get trespassed and we don't want to see you get arrested, but you're going so down that road. You can't do it here now. We gotta, yeah, put it in your bag. He's not going to allow me to fix my. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir, both. Yes, sir, master. Whatever you said, too. I heard you, too, sir. Whatever you said. We're, we're not giving you the hard time. You're I got you, time. brother. Okay. Whatever makes you feel comfortable with your job. Okay. Yes, sir, boss. All right. Yes, sir, boss. Because. You know, I should be getting out of the cab. What? You should be getting out of the cab. Where can you yeah. go tonight? We're trying to go to the airport. You got to go flight. You got to go somewhere else now. So, where are you going to go? Where you want to see me to? Where do you want to go? I, I don't I have no idea where to go. You live in Tampa? No. If I lived in Tampa, I wouldn't be here. Okay. Do you have family here, friends? Okay, so where are you going to go to? Okay, so where are you going to go to? No idea. All right. 
since you won't let me catch my flight. Well, we you guys, didn't, we didn't I could have catch my flight. Y'all deterred me from catching my flight. There's no way they were going to let you fly. That's the way bullshit. you're acting. I'm telling you 100% the way you're acting. I did tell you 150%. They wouldn't let you fly. They wouldn't let me fly. I've been flying for 40 I've been flying before you were. Oh, don't touch me, man. Don't touch me. Why are you touching me? Come on. Come on. Let's go. All right. Y'all put. Okay. Okay. Wait. Can we stand here? Stand here with all of I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm taking my coat. Don't take my coat. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm going in handcuffs for doing nothing. No, I'm going down, in handcuffs for doing nothing. Come on. I'm doing. We asked you a million times to go. Yes. I'll do the transport. Okay. You want to ride it? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Uh. My car's right up the door. We'll okay. Yeah. yeah. You want it? Yeah. We'll take that over there. Uh, you want me to ride in your transport? I don't care. I, mean, you I forgot you were the parkway guy. It, it's, it doesn't matter. What if you have All right. Well, uh, I guess it's not happening. Is there another one? Uh, no, the... There's a stairwell. No, no. There's a stairwell. There's just elevator. We can take the stairs. Oh, what you doing? Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. You stopped on your foot. Um, you guys feel comfortable on the steps? After reviewing surveillance footage and obtaining a statement from the victim, officers realized the suspect was extremely aggressive towards multiple TSA employees. The man was taken into custody and received a one-year trespass ban from the airport and a lifetime ban from Southwest Airlines. Additionally, he was fired from his job as an aerospace engineer. Coming up next, a family member committed a $50,000 fraud while working in the family business. Payroll theft, where she was running extra hours, where she was giving herself a lot of reimbursement. Looks like a drug problem, uh, but I almost feel like it was just an addiction to the stealing. Actually, no, because I, well, I'm not exactly 100% sure what this is. I already know what happened. I already know about the credit cards that he paid off. Okay, then, that, then I know what it is. On the 8th of September 2023, officers in Florida responded to an incident at a small local business where it was reported that a significant amount of money had been stolen. Upon reaching the location, they talked to the manager to find out what had transpired. I'm going to go through this real quick with you here. This is, this is what I have so far. Okay. Looks like I've got a log here of stuff here. Yeah, uh, her, that was her mileage log because she was authorized to give herself reimbursements for her mileage. I think okay. it was like 57 cents per mile if she had to run to the bank or things like that. Um, but the reason I included that is because she was giving herself a lot more than just okay. um, what, what she was authorized to give. Okay. So that's why I included that. And then I have copies of looks like some bank statements. Those look like her paycheck stubs, a year for the paycheck stubs, because she was doing some theft through there also. She, it seems, you can see a pattern. It seems like we started out okay at the beginning of the year. Uh -huh. And then she started doing um, some payroll theft where she was running extra hours or she was giving herself a lot of reimbursement. Um, she even piddled around with some bonuses. Like she was just cushioning her paychecks a lot and it was okay. very consistent. It's okay if I sit down. Yes, please sit down. The manager soon revealed that the employee was actually a family member with a history of theft, narcotics issues, and various personal problems. It turned out that the employee has stolen over $50,000 through payroll and credit card fraud. The owners disclosed to the officer how she had repeatedly paid herself far more in allowances and overtime than she was entitled to. Finally, the officers confronted the suspect who was working for another employer at the time and began questioning her after informing her of her rights. Actually, no, because I... Well, I'm not exactly 100% sure what this is. I know when you asked me on the phone yesterday, I was just walking out of work and there was a couple other people following out the door and I wasn't getting into it. 
Okay. But I did call. We have a hotline at work, and I called, and they advised me not to enter any questions, find out what it actually was about, and then contact them again, so that if I do need an attorney, they know how to, you know, best ass assign which way to go, what I need, and who to, you know, give me. Okay. So you choose Dr. Talk, talk. Correct. All right. Well, I can't really share much more. Okay. All right. Um, I will tell you this. It is a criminal investigation. I already know what happened. I already know about the credit cards that he paid off. Okay, then that, then I know what it is. Okay, so I know how to advise the attorneys. And it's more payroll. Okay. Commissions, bonuses, stuff like that. So, um, all right. So I am not going to take any to do further on that. Um, but that helps me to know what mm, to tell them. But I have your phone number, so yes, sir. Um, if there's anything that we need to reach out to you for, yes, sir. Will you respond back? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, they told me definitely show up because that you know I, I gave my word that I would be here and that I needed to show up. Okay. Well, that's that's good. I mean, I, again, what I what we try to do in, in a case like this, we try to get your side of the story because yes, all I have is their side of the story. Now. Um, They've been told not to reach out to you. They've been told, and I'm asking you not to reach out to them. Yes, sir. Right now it's a criminal investigation, so okay. um, that's what's going there. I, mean, I, mean, I don't think you have any questions from me. No, sir. It's an ongoing case. Um, you know, I just, again, it's not looking really good for you. That's why I want to I want to be you know, behind it and everything else. But again, I can't compare you to speak, and I told you, you're free to leave. You're free to not speak. You're free to get a lawyer and everything else. Um, Anything else? The suspect refused to answer any questions of the detective and instead decided to contest the case in court, which ultimately backfired massively as she was sentenced to a 24-month jail sentence for stealing over $50,000 from her relative's company.